Um, I don't know. I remember talking to Dion Brand about this. She said, you know, every 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 point of all of her books, she always felt like she was going to be done in a few months, <laughs> <laughs> and it'd be like five years away. <laughs> always felt, oh, a few months, it'll be it'll be done. It's just right, you know, it'll just all come pouring out any minute now. <laughs> um, so it feels like that, but I doubt it. It's so realistic. Like, actually, I'm more modest. So I always say by the end of the year. <laughs> and I say that year after year. <laughs> years the end of the year, I'll be done by the end of the year, which I always think is leaving a generous amount of time. But, so I, I have no idea, no idea. Part of, part of what the problem is, you write things and then you set them aside and then you come back to them. And, you know, it's a, it, it's a weird, spooky process because you, when you're writing something, you're really a poor judge of how good it is. Mm-hmm when you come back to it later then you're using a different part of your brain and you can analyze whether you've done something good or you've done something that's worthless right and so it's hard to know right now what of the work that's kind of open is going to work so often it's I mean for me I'm, I'm I revise a lot I throw things away I often you know I write entire stories and 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 ditch them you know so I that, and I do that with poems too um I, I throw a lot away. Like I say, for both of my books of poems, there's, you know, there's twice, uh, you know, the, there's that much again that I that I got rid of you know, as I go through it. So it's a lot about sorting and you know, experimenting and trying things and failing a lot. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's another piece of advice that I would give to people: is learn how to fail. You know, like part of the process is failing. Part of the process of, of succeeding or getting something finished is learning how to take failure as part of it you know and then you try something out it doesn't work and then you learn something from that and it helps you do the next thing that does work so I'm in the middle of that right now so I don't really know how it'll turn out that's uh, that's fascinating advice there. I mean, because um, not everyone's going to be successful in terms of becoming a writer. So it's important that um, you know people that do want to write uh, be able to accept you know failure and uh, be able to accept the fact that um, um, or to accept criticism ab- about your work. So that that's a very very good advice as well. Um, we'd like to thank you, uh, Wei, for coming on to our program. Uh, that's all the time we have for this segment of the show. And uh, hopefully you know, we will have you again um, sometime in the future. Uh, anytime. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was Wade Compton, writer and a new program director at the Writer's Studio at SFU Continuing Studies. We'll take a short break and we'll be back in a moment. Calling all BC short filmmakers. The third annual Vancouver Short Film Festival is back and accepting entries until August 1st. Students at all levels and professional filmmakers can submit films and videos. There is no maximum time limit, but the shorter, the better. At the last festival, 45 short films were screened and $18,000 in prizes were awarded. All films will be screened in October at the Van City Theatre. To submit a video or to get more information, go to vsff.com. Hi, this is Dave from Folk Thief, and you're listening to CJSF 90.1 FM. 